Hello and a very good morning to my dearest lecturer. Today, I would like to present my individual assignment for final subject. Before we continue, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Engku Aisha Binti Cikgu Setia and I am from MBA 1114C. The company that I have chosen for this task is Saimdabi Plantation Berhad. Next, I would like to explain about the introduction, assessment on the company, the summary of SWOT analysis and lastly the conclusion that I have made. The first one is introduction. Saim Dabi Plantation Berhad is the most well-known producer of sustainable palm oil in the world. In the 200 years since its founding, they have been standing in the industry with the brightest minds to innovate palm oil as much as possible. The president of the company, Encik Muhammad Baki Saleh, has been working since 2010 with the major shareholder, Permodalan National. Saim Darby Oils, a subsidiary of the company, produces a wide range of high-quality oils and fats. The company not only operates in Malaysia but also in Indonesia and Liberia. One of their top brands is Alif Vegetable Cooking Oil and they also convert palm oil into other products such as detergents and household items. Moving on to the assessment on the company. The first C is the character. The company has been awarded a bronze medal under the sustainability category. Saim Dabi is the first Malaysian company to earn the Edison Universe Award. They also received many other awards and was selected as Thailand's most popular cooking oil. Their achievements and their actual consistency in operations prove that the company is identifiable and stable in lending its money to its client. The second C is capacity. It is based on the ability of management to properly manage the organization in order to generate income as well as the availability of financial resources to offer money. Based on the ratio table, the company's debt ratio of 2021 is lower than 2020. This is because the company has a lesser total of debt. In 2020, the inventory turnover is 8.34 times which is greater than in 2021. It shows that in 2020, the company is effectively using its inventory to generate sales and the company is qualified for the loan. The next C is for capital. Usually, the capital is focusing on cash. Based on the ratio table, the current ratio in 2021 is 1.24 times higher than in 2020 which is 1.04 times. The net working capital in 2020 is 187,208 ringgit, lower than in 2021. The company is experiencing liquidity issues and does not have enough money to invest in its daily activities. They are unable to deliver debt to creditors in terms of capital. After that, collateral. The total asset turnover in 2021 is 0 0.62 times, higher than in 2020, which is 0 0.46 times. This implies that the company's assets are underutilized and its assets investment is inefficient. Consequently, the company's ability to provide debt is low. The last C is for condition. The operating profit margin in 2021 is 19.67% more than in 2020 which is 14.17%. The company has better output of assets in providing returns to creditors and stockholders in 2021. Generally, Saim Dabi is able to reach the debt demand through the difficult period such as the pandemic as well as manage to get a massive return. Now, moving on to the summary of SWOT analysis. A SWOT analysis is a method of assessing a company's competitive position in its industry. Firstly, strength. Sam Dabi very product portfolio has aided the company in reaching out to consumer sectors in the industry. Moreover, the company has a huge dealer and strong connection that assists them in providing efficient services to consumers. Other than that, their human resources are one of the company's strength for their successful business operations. Secondly, weaknesses. The declining of the market share is one of the company's weaknesses. Next, 
The company's financial statement may be put under strain in the future if the gross margins and operating margins cannot be enhanced. Last one, the competitors can easily duplicate the company's business model. For opportunity, the local collaboration can give the chance to the company to widen their market share in internationals. Plus, the trends of switching to high-end products is seen as a wonderful potential since the company has a strong brand name in the market. Due to the obvious low inflation rate, the market is more stable. As a result, their products will be consumed more frequently. Competitors catching up with the product improvement is seen as a threat from both international and domestic companies. Another risk is the growing technological capability of local firms. Lastly, competitive pressures is also a threat to the company as they cannot adjust promptly to the requirements of mass markets due to its vast customer base. So, the conclusion is, Sam Dhabi Plantation Berhad can still thrive in the harsh economic conditions. The company are incompetent to provide debt due to a number of issues, but the company's ability to lend to customers can still be upgraded as they have a good position and achievements in the industry. Nevertheless, they must take note of the existing matters seriously so that there will be no losses. The company have to optimize their capabilities to generate more profits in the future and become a well-known company. That is all from me. Thank you for lending your ear. Goodbye.